Hello teachers, parents and students. Welcome to the Botanic Good Vibes channel. Today I'll be sharing with you a short math tutorial on correcting one of the common mistakes committed by some teachers and students in basic algebra subject. By the way, I'm your tutor. You may call me Sergic. And for today's tutorial, we will be talking about misconception regarding square roots of positive numbers. Uh, why are we doing this? Because, of course, everyone commits mistakes, but we need to correct that mistake and learn from it. Do you agree? But without further ado, let's show the problem. So, for instance, we have this problem. Find the values of the following radicals. Radical of 16, radical of 25, and radical of 81. What are the values of these radicals? And some students and teachers um, give these answers. For instance, the radical of 16, for them, it's um, positive 4 and negative 4. Similarly, radical of 25, okay, their answer is positive 5 and negative 5. And for radical of 81, positive 9 and negative 9. Uh, at the first glance, it seems to be true. Because in the first place, as math teacher, we often read this as square root. So, we pronounce it as square root of 16, positive 4, and negative 4. Okay? But, actually, these answers are wrong. Why? Okay, we need to know the correct answers. The true answers should be this. So this radical, square root of 16, or the radical of 16, is 4 only when we write it in that form. Okay? The radical of 25 is 5 only, and the radical of 81 is 9 only. But remember, there are two square roots of 16, and these are 4 and negative 4. But the value of the radical of 16 is 4 only. Do you agree? What? Similarly, the two square roots of 25 are 5 and negative 5. The two square roots of 81 are 9 and negative 9. But, again, the only values of the radical of 25, the radical of 81, are 5 and 9 respectively. But why? Why, why, why? So we need to revisit the definition of square root of a positive number. This is how it goes. The square root of a positive number x is the real number y such that y squared is equal to x. So we're getting the square root of a positive number and the answer must be a real number that when you multiply it to itself will give you that positive number x. Okay, so for example, the square roots of 16 are 4 and negative 4. Why? Because it satisfies the definition. So 4 multiplied by itself, 4, or 4 squared, 4 squared is equal to 16. In the same manner, negative 4, when you multiply it by itself, negative 4 times negative 4, that's also 16. That's why the square roots of 16 are 4 and negative 4. But how come that this radical is not equal to negative 4? Okay? This is because this radical refers to the principal square root of 16, not the square root per se of 16, but rather it's the principal. And the principal root of a positive number, if it exists, it should be unique. And it is also a positive number. So it cannot be that when you get the principal root of a positive number, it will give you negative value. Okay? So what's the definition of this principal square root of a positive number? It says here, the principal square root of a given positive number, say x. This is denoted by this symbol. Sometimes we call it as the radical of x. 
okay but most of us call this okay when we write it on board square root okay but actually it's the principal square root and the principal square root of a positive number x is a positive number y such that y squared is equal to x so this symbol represents principal square root of a number so please take note of this when the teacher writes this symbol on the board even if he or she mentions square root of x he or she is actually referring to the principal square root of x so just give the positive value or the positive root when the teacher asks for square roots of a positive number but does not write the symbol the student should always give two roots one that is positive and the other is a negative number so when you are asked to determine the square roots of a positive number say 81 just solve this equation remember this x squared equals 81 and this equation is equivalent to x equals plus or minus the square root of 81 or plus minus the radical of 81 but when we solve this this one is 9 that's why we have plus and minus 9 plus 9 or negative 9 but when the teacher writes radical of 81 again this is not the square root of 81 that we know but rather it's the principal square root of 81 okay so it is like solving the equation x equals the radical of 81 but when you solve this this is equivalent to x equals 9 so the negative sign will not evolve from this symbol okay this means we are getting the positive root of 81 and the answer is positive 9 so i hope this clarifies this uh, misconception so let's see if you understood um, what i have presented so try doing this problems and you may give your answers uh, in the comment box um, below what are the squares of 100 solve for x for this equation evaluate this radical expression and try this challenge problem also give the exact values of the square roots of y so that's it so thank you for uh, watching again remember this avoid math mistakes share the math with love spread the good vibes okay so till next math tutorial thank you